Welcome! In this video we show an example of some of the basic activities that a Scrum team goes through when refining their product backlog. It is time for Nisha, Steve, Blake, Robin and Cassie to refine their product backlog. They do this regularly. In the past they used to hold a weekly two-hour product backlog refinement session. Nisha and Steve suggested trying something different. And the team has agreed to hold short daily 30-minute refinements. The Scrum team is happy to try this out. After all, when, how and how much refinement they need to do is up to the team to decide. They can discuss at the next retrospective how effective this approach has been for them. Last time they refined the product backlog, Robin, the Scrum Master, noticed that the team was not aligned on the product goal and as a facilitator she struggled to keep the team on track. So this time she asked Cassie, the product owner, to start the session by making sure everyone has a shared understanding of the product goal. She hopes this will help the team to focus on the next important items to refine. Next, Cassie shows the product backlog, which is a list of things that are needed to improve the product. She has already ordered the backlog and put what she believes to be the most important items at the top. Cassie and the developers, Steve, Blake and Nisha, discuss the order of the backlog. Nisha points out a product backlog item that's lower on the backlog and she raises her concern that if the team does not do this item earlier, their business can be at risk. Cassie realizes her concern is valid and they agree the product backlog item should be nearer to the top. They also find there is a product backlog item in the backlog that is not relevant anymore. So they remove that one. Next, the team looks at the product backlog item that was added at their last sprint review and placed high upon the backlog. It has a brief description and some high-level acceptance criteria. Cassie did not want to put too much detail in beforehand, as she believes refinement is a great opportunity to leverage the team's expertise to help her refine this item further. Blake, Nisha and Steve ask Cassie questions, and together they update the product backlog item. During the discussion, they quickly come to the conclusion that this product backlog item would be a lot of work. Robin asks if the developers think they can start and complete the item in one sprint. They decide to do a Roman vote. Blake and Nisha vote with their thumbs down. They don't think it will fit within one sprint. Steve shows a thumbs up. They briefly discuss the results of the vote and Steve finds out that he forgot to take a few things in consideration. They all agree the product backlog item is too large and with some help from Cassie, they break it down into smaller items of value and add those to the product backlog. Cassie suggests they discuss the order of the newly added backlog items, add further details and acceptance criteria. At one point, the team gets stuck into a very detailed discussion. Robin steps in and points out that it's fine that they do not know everything up front. Questions and unknowns can still emerge during the sprint. As long as they have enough information to start the product backlog item in the sprint and they have sizes small enough so that they are confident they can complete the item within a sprint. This was just one example of a team refining their product backlog. There were multiple activities the team went through in this example. They discussed the product backlog items, they reordered the backlog, added and removed product backlog items. Additionally, they added further details, including acceptance criteria, and they broke down a large product backlog item into smaller sized product backlog items. Want to learn more about activities and techniques that teams can use for product backlog refinement? Visit the Scrum.org website. Thank you for watching.